Hello and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. Let me close my door real quick so you can't hear my dogs. They're kind of loud. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, Universe Sandbox 2. What are we going to do today? Well, we're going to make Jupiter the size of the sun. I, I just came up with that, but it sounds fun. So, let's do this. Start. Do 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 do, and I also want to see how it messes with everything else's orbits. So you can see all their orbits here. We're just gonna. Oh, I can't drag it. Okay, we're gonna hold the sound. And Jupiter's getting really big now. It's three times larger than Jupiter's. Already huge. So. This is bound to have some gravitational effect. So let's see, the sun is actually attracted to Jupiter now. I'm not sure if it's messing with any orbits of... No, it's not really messing with asteroids or anything yet. But we are going to continue... Oh, maybe it is. It appears that it might be. No, wait, what's here? Ah, Ceres. Maybe that's being affected by Jupiter. But we're going to continue putting it up. Jupiter's just like a giant ball now. Oh, is it doing that thing where it's going to keep shrinking and condensing? No. Okay, I guess we have to quickly, um... No, I think it is doing that. I think I was right. Yep, it is condensing. Letting out a lot of heat. There's the great spot. The big spot on Jupiter. Um... It is condensing, but let's keep putting it up. Wow. <laughs> That's... Particles are causing some frame rate lag, so let's hope those stop soon. Just scroll out. Anything being affected? No, not really. Uh, let's, let's finish this. It is now a... Star. So now if we go to Earth, this is a cool thing about having multiple stars. I noticed this before. Oh, it doesn't work, does it? Jupiter isn't lined up right. Oh, that kind of stinks. Ah, uh, you'll see later. Because I'm assuming Jupiter is going to slowly get closer. The sun's actually moving. A lot. So back to Jupiter. We are going to put it up to uh, see how close it is to the sun. It's not even close, so let's fix that. It's getting brighter. Seven, eight, nine. There we go. Now I think it's going to do that thing I was talking about. Yeah, look! It's like there's a pie slice because this light on this side is from Jupiter. And this is from the Sun. So, days are kind of weird, if you look. It's time... Uh, this is really lagging it out. Whatever. Um. So let's speed this up. It only lets me speed it up to a certain point, but that's fine. Here's Jupiter. 
Here's the sun. The sun is going to Jupiter. How hot is... No, oh, the Earth isn't actually getting too much extra heat. What's up with this lag? Let's fix that. Oh, we don't want it going that fast. You want it going a lot slower. Um... There we go. That's still too fast. Six days per second, that doesn't seem too bad. Even though it's still acting weird and not letting me. Um, what's up with that? You know, let's see if I can fix that. Open. Solar system. Go over to Jupiter, we go to Mass, we go to Sun, we put in one, enter. It's not getting all laggy this time. It's working. Okay. So, this pie slice effect, look at that, that's so cool. <laughs> Days would be really weird. Slowly from both sides. That's just so cool. Without further ado. Oh! Okay, so everything's being pulled to. Well, the sun is being pulled towards. The planets are being pulled towards too, because they're pulled towards the sun. Earth isn't. Happy, it's getting very warm on Earth. The temperature is rapidly going up as days go by. Earth was just flung, and now it's going towards the Ju Ju quote unquote Jupiter, and it was just flung by Jupiter. Oh my God, poor Earth! It looks like it's gonna come around again, though. The planets are all fighting to stay alive. I don't think humans could have survived that at all. It hit 100 degrees Celsius, but maybe people in, like, giant bunkers underground. Um. Yeah, I think, I think it's over for Earth. Mercury actually stayed fine. Earth isn't actually doing too bad. Now it's getting cold, though. That, that's bad. You need heat for life. Oh man. This. Oh, why is this lagging so much? One second. Huh. Didn't seem to change anything when I stopped recording. Jupiter really wants to destroy the sun, though. So Jupiter's all like, hey, sun, I'm gonna destroy you. And the sun's like, oh no you don't, and so, the sun, uh, where is it, okay, there isn't a button, but we'll just, uh, Boom! The sun decides no one can live if the sun doesn't. And so everything is obliterated. Actually, it appears nothing was really obliterated. I was expecting everything to be obliterated. Obliterated. Uh, my simulations? What was this? Oh, I had my own solar system thing. Oh wait, what was so special about this? 
Uh, I don't see what's so special about this. Well... Uh... Strange. Two dice. Activities! Ooh, that sounds fun. Galactic Center. Oh. So these activities kind of just explain stuff, I guess? Oh, yep, you can tell it's a black hole. A little bit. Um, let's see if any of these activities are kind of cool. Exploring the solar neighborhood. Planetarium mode. Whoa! Lag! Okay, so this is called fake solar system, so I'm assuming this is a fake solar system. What is this? Jupiter! Jupiter, what's going on? Well, um, okay then, experience, uh, experiments, Earth between suns, oh, this is what I was kind of doing, so there's a little line, oh, that's cool, where's the suns, is it actually, like, not going anywhere because it's being pulled by both? What? That's so weird. Oh my god. Why did the mass of Earth just go down? Is it being like ripped apart? Oh no, just switched to moon view. Um. Well, then, let's see if we speed it up. Yeah, that's why I thought the temperature is going to start going up. The Earth! No! It's not going to make it much longer. Well, let's see if we can uh, just push it a little bit. If if we push it a little bit towards one of the suns, if that'll be enough to perfectly just get it going that direction. So, powers, shoot body, let's shoot something small that won't do too much damage. Good dinos. Boom! It's been hit. It now has velocity. Oh. Well, I guess the, uh, gravitational force is pretty strong holding it in. Um. So we are going to have to try something. <laughs> Basketballs! Okay, seriously, we're gonna have to find something to shoot at it. So, let's use Phobos. Oh, well, its velocity just isn't going anywhere. Okay, that's it, Earth. We give you the, um, chance to do what we wanted. Did it really go in the opposite direction? Oh, this is it. It's over now. Earth is on a crash course with that sun now. If we speed up time. It's temperature, it is cooling down. Well, it was cooling down. Because now... Oh! Will we actually get liquid? We got liquid water back! Will it get cool enough for... Animals and stuff? Life? No. It's getting completely... Oh, you get a little bit of water in an atmosphere. And then it goes away. So we're actually being flung around the sun. It's pretty brutal. Um... Well, home sweet Earth. 
Let's try a different experiment. This is actually kind of cool. Climate test. Closest Earth. Not doing so well. Next Earth. This one is fine. Next Earth. This one is also fine. Slowly cooling down. So, next Earth. This one's a bit cooler. Next Earth. This one is around our temperature. And then this Earth. Colder. This Earth. Colder. This Earth. Colder. This Earth. Colder. Ah, so all these Earths are livable, except for this one. Oh, is this one livable? I didn't think it was. It is? Isn't that the one closest? Don't know. I clicked on the wrong one. This one is it. <laughs> 700 degrees! It's actually glowing a little bit. Earth, the red nose planet. Planet composition cube. Okay, how do I turn this on? I'll turn on physics. I want these all to crash into each other. Are they all just stuck there? <gasps> they are. No. Oh, whatever. Home. So uh, the next one, planet composition triangle. So maybe this one will be a triangle. No, oh, this is one we were on. Home. Planet composition triangle. Oh, error occurred. Collapsing momentum test. That's a lot of Mars. We'll go to the next one. Uh, many stars. It's a lot of stars. This one's gonna supernova. We're we're done with you. Oh no! It exploded! Well, that was kind of short, but I was just playing around. So, thank you for watching. Goodbye.